Hello everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Salmon Max. So, we could look at these right now, and we will. Max's inner monologue. Before we continue here, I know we're not supposed to waste time, according to Sybil, but since when do we ever listen to her? Chinuchlek wiped the last remaining ichor and blubber from his carving knife, then sat down on the one patch of ice not covered by walrus intestines. Why so sad? asked Paco, his faithful deer tick companion. It was a clean kill. I know, sobbed Chinuchlek, but there was no one here to see it. So that's how you make an Elder God cry, apparently. Okay, what about this? Zack ran down the hallway. The vision's coming fast and furious now. A dumbwaiter spraying torrents of pus. An ocelot wearing lederhosen. A beautiful red-haired woman gets a paper cut on her thumb. But when she tries to use the spray antiseptic, the bottle starts screaming at her in Tagalog! Whatever the visions meant, one thing was clear. Something very strange had happened in room 415. No reaction from the Elder God. Okay. Flint Paper leaned back in his chair and poured himself another fifth of pineapple schnapps. He'd just killed a great white shark with his bare hands and was about to skin it to upholster another, different chair when she walked in. She was tall, real tall, and pretty too. Plus, she had two eyes, which were both locked on Flint. <laughs> okay. No real reaction from Max here. What about the other one? Professor Robert von Ungwent flashed his ID card at the receptionist of the National Institute of Historical Science. The Professor von Ungwent, hissed the receptionist, world-famous expert in pre-industrial farming implements? Thank God you've come! Suddenly, in walked Dr. Daniel Delinement, head of the Institute's Ancient Mysteries Department. Robert, you may be my arch-rival and nemesis, but only you can crack the code of the cotton gin. Okay. You have some very, very interesting, um, inner monologues there, Max. Huh. Let's see if we can hop down to the feet. Sam, we've got to take care of this tumor. You can go exploring later. Aww, no looking at the feet from the inside. Anyway. Does that tumor look normal to you, Dr. Norrington? It's like nothing I've seen before. Perhaps you can identify why it's... I'll sing. You'll be able to get rid of that tumor with no problem, right, Sybil? I don't know, Sam. It looks weird. Check it out. Well, let's poke it. I bet if I touch it here, he'll start speaking with an Australian accent. Yo, it shocked me. The brain synapses are firing at an alarming rate. The voltage is quite high. Ugh. Whoa. Ah, get away, fake Max. <laughs> Do you find my warmth alarming, Sam? The freaky creature is correct, Sam. He won't be able to operate until you can cut off the power to the brain. The medulla oblongata acts as kind of a circuit breaker for the brain. If you can cut it off, we can get to work. Okay then, experts. Where do I find the medulla oblongata? Perhaps behind this door? Perhaps. So let's try that, shall we? This shouldn't take long. Or it's going to take longer because someone didn't want to go through did the door. They? One of the two. And we're back in the stomach. Did everybody get all staticky and find themselves in the stomach again? I detected a spike in psychic energy coming from the monster. Is everyone okay? 
We appear to be in some sort of game room. You are now at the mercy of the brain, Butterball. Max must be using his psychic powers to keep us from entering the brain. Yes, they're very fussy at this age. He's just looking for attention. Better to ignore him. Okay, that's dumb. But I've got a better idea. If we could put enough electrical current through Max's body, it temporarily short out his powers and let us inside the brain. But that would take a voltage of at least 46 helijoules. The only place in the city with that much power is the electric plant down in Battery Park. And we've got to find some way to get control of Max's body and take him downtown. You know, we're inside that body, right? Just, just, just throwing that out there. Anyway, huh. Nothing new down here, but maybe. Let's see if it'll slip by. More than likely not, but it's always worth a try. Ouch! We're not going to be able to take out this tumor until I get into the brain and throw that circuit breaker. Okay, Adrian, will you shock yourself again? Ouch. Yep. We're not going to be able to... Again? Ouch! <laughs> We're not going to be able to... <laughs> One more time. Ouch! <laughs> We're not... Yes. Whoops. Gonna... Okay. Yeah, that didn't work. Let's try to get back in. I bet it works this time. Nope. Okay. And back to the stomach? Yep, back to the stomach we go. Ah, oh, nuts. There's no way I'm getting inside that brain until we can get control of Max's body. Oh, well, let's go see if we can find the other two. Go to the arms. Or we can go to the feet. Well, just because it was the first one I saw here. Let's go to the arms and see what's going on, shall we? And fall backwards. Axon and Pinball, huh? Another party member! Oh, this is gonna be the best campaign ever! <laughs> ah, there you are, Sam. Paperweight here believes he's found a way to control the creature's arms. Yes! We are standing on a network of neurotransmitters, and by forming biogenic connections between them, we can relay electrical impulses from dendrites in the brain to muscle tissue. The tea short tea. version, Poindexter. I can step on these shapes to control the arms. Great. Let's get to it so we can pick up huge stuff. You'll have to activate the manual override first. The impulses come through that machine over there. Blue pistols, brass knuckles, black bombs, green bullets, orange flails, and pink bacon slices. All part of a nutritious breakfast. Especially the brass knuckles. Maybe I should get on the board and you guys read off the instructions. Well, I do have something of it at back. Nonsense. Paperweight's going to need all of my tentacles and various other appendages to have any hope of finishing this game. Well, unfortunately, he has a point there. What else can we look at? Max's kidneys kept trying to get rid of that sign, but finally let him keep it as long as it wasn't in the living room. Yeah, a lot of us have been there. The TV reception's much better down in the intestines because Max spent so much time laying cable. That was horrible. And you should feel bad about that one. It's a bunch of whimsically outdated board games. Pan Galactic Despotic Dominion, the extended edition. Oh, that's an epic game of interstellar conquest with 7,000 highly detailed paintable miniatures. A single game can last your adolescence. What are the rules? Oh, it's simple. First, you assign a color to every player. Then you shuffle the draw deck and the discard deck, dealing eight cards counterclockwise, starting with the player who most recently had his wisdom teeth removed. Then you choose a technical proficiency. Sounds like ten barrels of fun. Sam, stay awake! Don't be fooled <laughs> by his fiendishly boring schemes. 
Let's see what else he has lurking It's a bunch of whimsically bookshelf. outdated board games. La Bonne des Maîtres. That's the most popular European design game for the past seven years running. It's got instructions in 12 different languages, all at once. Wow. It's a bunch of whimsically outdated board games. Ferret Frustration Time, a wacky game for all ages. Oh, that's just a dumb kid's game. It only takes three hours to set up. Wow. It's a okay. bunch of whimsically outdated board games. Pan Galactic Despotic Dominion. Okay, we've seen oh, that. That's an epic game of. Okay, don't need to see that again. Come on. Can't go any more that way. So the only thing left in here. Can we use the pinball machine? Nope, just the arcade machine. Max has got some nerve. Ooh, I wanna play! Wait your turn, fake Max. It's time to watch a master at work. Huh, this is pretty much the worst video game I've ever played. You have to read the command off the screen, Sam. I cannot see it from here. Left okay. leg brass knuckles. Let me know if you need extra appendages, Paperweight. I have tentacles to spare. I guess the brain has stopped trying to work against us. I was concerned since we are so close to the speech center. This is going to be easy. Indeed. A little too easy. So what do we got? Right foot bomb. Well, that Wait wasn't second. right. I didn't say that. Got it! Are you sure that was right? Perhaps you should try again. This is going really well. Keep listening to what I say. That's a problem. Let's try one more. So that's left hand bomb. Right foot bomb. We'll do. <laughs> Are you reading that correctly? The brain definitely isn't using psychic controls against me, that's for sure. Please, let's continue. One more. Left hand brass knuckles. I like bacon. Maybe I should read the commands, yes? Show some sensitivity, paperweight. He's colorblind. Besides, it'll take both of our bodies to complete this compounded game. So, maybe you've noticed the pattern. And I will do this one. I will fail this one more time before I succeed in it. Right foot bullet. So let's see. If we pick right... Let's see what happens if we pick right leg pistol. Left foot bullet. Almost. Is everything okay, Sam? Everything is perfectly fine. Let's keep on doing exactly what we're doing. Yeah. If you haven't noticed there, we're reading the exact opposite of our intent. So, and it's actually going off what we say, not what it wants us to say. So if we have left foot, we're going to want right hand. This is pretty much meaningless as far as figuring out the puzzle because there's no way to tell that bullet is actually the opposite of gun since they work together. But anyway, left foot translates into right hand and there's the right hand. Left foot pistol. If you say so. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Indeed. No, it's my turn now. <laughs> we'll need to complete two more circuits to activate the manual override. So let's hit this one more time. So right hand, we want to say left foot. Flail, huh? Right hand this one. Got it. This is just like the final boss battle against Agamemnon in Ultra Shining Quest 2, where you have to use your holy katana three times against his exposed other sack to complete the ritual of quickening and- Don't listen to him, Sam. Stay awake and stay the course. So, one more time should do this. Right foot, or uh, right hand means left foot. Or in this case, left leg, since it's the only left out there. Right hand flail. Almost there! Smashing job, Sam! 
So, let's see, we can say anything we want to here, and they're all happiness. Let's go with, we did it! Right hand grabs the nose. Oops. Roger that! What have you done, Sam? The arms! They are spasming out of control! I admit it. This wasn't supposed to happen. Uh oh. I'm so caught up in you. Error. Oh no! Not the good. radioactive brain core is exposed! Your head will collapse, and there's nothing in it. And you'll ask yourself, who let the dogs go? Game over. Yes! Or not. A dentist chasing you with a hatchet, being loaded into the car for a trip to the vet! Oh, delicious! Sam, you must wake up! What? What happened? I must protest! I was savoring a most delectable nightmare. The radiation is too dangerous for you, Sam. You pass it out. Evidently, Paperweight and I are immune. Looks like you're stuck with me for another hundred years, eh, Paperweight? <laughs> yes, my master. <laughs> we'll go back and resume our studies, but you must find someone else to operate those arm controls. Hmm. Who do I know who's immune to radiation? Well, no one in the general vicinity, but this marks a pretty good stopping spot. So when we return, we go down the other tube now that we've completely lost con the ability to go down the arm tunnel thanks to radioactive brain cores ex being exposed. Oh well. So till then, take care folks. See you next time.